Life belum ibu lalu place lu yang seluaran. Dia usenya. Dia usenya is very much an important part of the identity. Most people here depend on the ocean. Management of this environment has been our way of living. In Papua New Guinea, conservation is not a new idea to people. As the population increases, the resources start to go down. So there has to be a certain way that combines science and traditional knowledge. I think the people have become aware that life is not as easy as it was before. In collaboration with the government of PNG, Pristine Seas is here to work alongside local partners and communities to collect data that will help inform future policy and protection. The data that Pristine Seas will share with us will help us make that informed decision. When we go to the communities, they will share their ideas as well and they will express how they feel about using that data to help protect their reefs. The very important part of it is the community, allowing them to make informed decisions about managing their, their marine life. It was absolutely incredible. Papua New Guinea is a fish counter's dream. We have been blown away by the generosity of the communities here. I just uh, walk now, you blow walk him, what them, how you blow like, I'm, I'm contribute, big blow contribution to how you blow walk him now. You blow my muscle, just like. In order to get the full picture and tell the full story of biodiversity in these remote areas, we need to conduct surveys and observations at every depth and every part of this ocean ecosystem. The information we've collected so far has been a mixed bag. Some of the reefs are quite healthy, others are not as healthy. In New Ireland, we were seeing a lot of coral bleaching. Here in the remote Western Islands, we're seeing little to no coral bleaching. On only one transect, I'm getting about 100 different species of coral, which puts it as one of the most diverse regions of coral in the entire world. Some of the tambu or protected areas that we investigated look pretty healthy, so that's a really good sign that these community efforts are paying off. Since the establishment of our LMMA, I've seen so many big changes. The big fish that I've ever seen with my eyes, they come to our shores. There are some threats where it's out of our control, like bleaching and global warming and climate change, sea level rising. Having a national big portion of protected areas for PNG, it's very important. The realities are that the resources are not unlimited. We have a responsibility to those who are coming after us. We have a duty to make the choice right now before it's too late. NMPA is a good thing in general. We have to find that connection between the provincial and the national government and the people. We would want to focus on protected areas being science-based but also traditionally based. Everybody working together, we can achieve a greater result.
we want to be part of that bigger global community to start acting now rather than regret. Papua New Guinea is a very resilient nation. We have faced a lot of struggles. We still find ways to survive. For me as a young person, I am very hopeful. Let's do this together, whatever the struggle, let's try it together. We would want the future generation to benefit from the decisions that we are making now.